Okay, let's start on making a piggy bank. The first thing you need to do is get some clay. And you make it into a ball. Okay? Then what you do is you make a pinch pot. You get it really nice into a ball first. Put your thumb in and you start pinching around and around and around. And you just put your thumb in, tap it every so often to make a flat edge. And we're just going to keep working on this and working on this. Sometimes you have to use a spray bottle from time to time. And what you do is you're going to make two pinch pots, half of an egg and half of an egg. And once that these pinch pots get to have a wall that is a half of an inch thick, not skinny like one-fourth of an inch where it might break, not thick like, like one inch that it will take too long to dry and it might explode, but a half an inch thick. And I am working on this. It's going to take some time, but I'm making a half of an egg just from putting my thumb in. Do you notice that I can go around and around and I keep it in my hands at all times? I don't build it this way. I'd end up with having a flat bottom. I'm not going to do it like this. Keep it in my hand. And I want to show you, this is just the beginnings. I have two that I have already made. And I want to show you what they look like. Those are the two that I'm going to use. But this is the process, that, how you make that. Okay? A ball. Stick your thumb in and pinch. I have two that are perfect. These are my two egg shape, half of an egg and half of an egg. Two pinch pots that are one fourth, um, that are half an inch thick. Now, from time to time, I notice that this is not even. All I do is go tap, tap, tap. And I can get two flat edges. It's hollow. It's nice and neat on the outside. I worked and worked on this for about oh, an, almost an hour, really perfecting two pieces. Okay. The next step that I'm going to do right now is I want to put them together. I want to score and slip them together. Score around here, coil reinforce, and get this together, okay? I'm going to show you how to do that. You take the needle tool or the razor blade tool, but I love the needle tool. The stylus the best. And I just score it. I score it very roughly. Not soft, but nice and rough, so it really scratches up the surface. And I go diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. Now back the other way. So I'm going crisscross applesauce and I'm really scratching it. That one's perfect. Now for this one. Diagonal, diagonal, diagonal. And you know, you can use a razor blade or you can use the stylus, it doesn't matter. And then back the other way. Okay, very nice. Once that these are scored properly and the inside is smooth and the outside is smooth, and it does look like a half of an egg. Ian half... Sales, your sandwiches are in the attendance office. Ian <laughs> Sales, please come to attendance. Once that you have a half of an egg and a half of an egg and it really looks like that, don't please don't make a half of a sphere, a half of a circle and a half of a circle. That would be too big. This is nice, okay? So then what we do is we get our slip. Now I call it slip or I call it slurry. All it is is 50% clay and 50% water and it's gooey. It's our glue in ceramics. And I love to use a lot of it. I like to make it really saucy because it sticks better. If you only put a little bit on there, you're going to notice it's going to open up. Really sauce it up. Oh, I love it. Really 
put it on thick. Excellent. It doesn't matter if it slides down the side. It doesn't matter. Okay. Now before we put these two together, they're all scratched and they're all slurried up. Before I do that, I need to get a coil ready. Because I always need to coil reinforce. Um, I would say an earthworm size would be good. Not skinny, not real big, but kind of like an earthworm. Let's see. Yes, that's going to make it around. Yes. Okay. So, what I do now is I have, if any, any of a gushed in there, you might want to get it out. Okay. I made sure I didn't have any big, huge balls of slurry in there. I'm going to put it together. Snug. Okay. Now, this step is very important. You must scratch the dickens out of it on the outside. You must bring this half into this half and this half into that half by scratching back and forth, back and forth. Really connect the two by scratching a lot. And what it's doing is I'm bringing some clay from one half into the other and um, it's going to connect a lot better that way. Alright, just scratch it down. We don't need to go the other way. You know how I always say, now go diagonal. We don't need to do that. I scratched the Dickens out and it's really deep. Put a little bit of slip on it all the way around. Make it saucy. Okay. Now I've got my quill ready. I could just reach right down there and grab it. I didn't have to go over there and get clay and roll it out. I had it ready. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it on all the way around like this. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of go around, smooth it in, you know, smooth, pushing it in. Oh, it looks like we got a little extra there. No problem. Smoothing it in, and what we're doing is we're putting more fresh clay right on top of a seam that we connected. Excellent. All right. Now, doesn't that look messy? It does. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a rib, either a metal rib or a rubber rib. They're in the shape of our ribs and they're for smoothing. I love the metal one. You're going to take it and you're going to glide it over back and forth, back and forth until it blends in and disappears. All of that clay that we added on there is being blended in and it is fixing that seam, making it super strong. Now, inside this egg, it is full of air. And that's what's holding it together. It's not going to collapse. It's so full of air that this is tough and strong. Okay. Wonderful. And you can go this way too. Good. Okay, the next step after this, just smoothing that, is you would want to put some water on it with a squirt, a squirt bottle like this. Make it all wet and take your hands, start massaging it. Now, if I wanted a horse, I would want to make this like shake my egg and collapse it down, make it like really kind of like oblong. If I wanted an elephant, I would want to kind of push it in a little bit and it would make it more like having a big, huge body. But what I'm going to show you right now is I'm going to make a lion. I love lions. And we're going to make a lion with the mane on its head. 